the ski resorts on the Alpines have suspended all skiing activities due to the security conditions of the glacier. Long period of extremely high temperatures and a shortage of snow from the previous winter leading to the glacier melting quickly. So there will be no skiing on the glacier until te the temperatures drop and conditions are suitable for reopening. Take a look at our next report for more. Little snow cover and melting glaciers. The most classic alpine hiking routes are off limits. Sweltering heat waves are thawing permafrost at an alarming rate. Usually around the summer, tourists flock to the Alps. But the usual routes now face hazards like rock slides. Since July 20, we have suspended skiing for the time being because there were no longer safe conditions to continue. We are awaiting for the lowering of temperatures and snowfall. Alpine guides suspended ascents on the most classic routes up Mont Blanc, which straddles France, Italy and Switzerland. The delicate climate conditions has forced guides to postpone the climbs. And for the first time in a century, mountain guides have refrained from offering tours up to the Jungfrau Peak in Switzerland. And it's advised to not climb up to the towering pyramid-shaped Matterhorn Peak. The Italian Alpine region is still open with several other breathtaking and safe routes. But many people have simply cancelled their trip when famously preferred routes went off limits. Now it's, it's, it's no more than, than sort of uh, 10, 12 inches wide, which is, which is really crazy. So yeah, big, big change. Yeah, big change. It's quite, it's quite frightening to see how, how it's disappearing. Um, so hopefully, hopefully something can be done about it and governments will get together once mm. it's all out. They won't. <laughs> Climbing on some of the thousands of glaciers dotting Europe's largest mountain range is now proving to be trickier. A combination of factors are contributing to a really extreme summer, starting with exceptionally little snowfall last winter. Sand also blew up from the Sahara early in the year, darkening the snow, which makes it melt faster. And then the first heat wave hit Europe in May. With subsequent ones following in June and July, pushing up temperatures even at higher altitudes. All these factors contributed to rapid melting and making glaciers more dangerous. As seen with the sudden collapse of Italy's seemingly harmless Marmoloda glacier earlier this month, at least 11 people were killed as ice and rock hurtled down the mountain. There were many unknowns about the catastrophe. There's another concern of melt water filtering under a glacier. It poses an additional and invisible threat. But despite the challenges, resort owners and guides are confident to find solutions. Seeking out alternative routes to keep showing off Alpine splendors. We report, Vion World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.